Welcome to the Oil & Gas Report brought to you by CatchCan. I'm your host, Rob Hislop. We have moved all our equipment out of our Edmonton-based studio and have headed over to Vancouver. We're in this city for the GLOBE 2012 conference. Now, in case you're not familiar with it, it's something that's actually been around for quite a while. It started back in 1990 and goes every two years. What it does is it brings together leaders of industry, all sorts of people from various industries, and they're talking about trying to make the world a better place. We've been fortunate enough to land a lot of interviews, corporate executives, international agencies, urban leaders, financial executives as well, government policymakers, as well as environmental industry executives. Of course, being from Alberta, we've got a lot of oil sand representation as well. And again, this is the Globe 2012 conference. It's held in March in Vancouver. The theme this year, building a sustainable economy for the 21st century. Joining us now here on the Oil and Gas Report is Diana McQueen, Minister of the Environment and Water of the Province of Alberta. Uh, it's nice to have a handle that I can get a grasp of because many of the people at this Globe 12, 2012 conference have these big long titles. Um, let me ask you first, what is it that you're getting out of coming to a conference like this or what can the people of Alberta expect out of this? Well, it's the opportunity, first of us, I'm speaking on a panel uh, this morning and then this afternoon on natural gas and the importance of natural gas in our economy as a as a green source of energy as well. It's the opportunity for us to talk. Um, this morning I was talking on a group with the oil sands. So be able to talk and tell the story about Alberta, mm -hmm. the good things that are happening with regards to environment and water, um, but also the work that industry is doing to make sure that they continually improve in those areas. So time for us to listen and learn as well mm -hmm. and to meet with other people, but really a time to showcase and talk about what Alberta is doing and to talk about our Canadian energy strategy as we look at the importance of Alberta as a global energy leader, mm -hmm. but also the importance of all the province and all the diversity that we all have in energy um, in this uh, country and to showcase how good to the world because there's many people from around with regards to um, how good and how much Canada has to offer. There's been two sort of prevailing themes from the people that I've had a chance to talk to from around the world. One is that we're not moving fast enough, and I'm not talking just government, but oil no, sands industry, no. not moving fast enough to clean things up. And the other one is bad PR. Mm -hmm. And it's like you don't know how to, not you, but the industry doesn't know how to promote the good things that it's doing. Do you agree with that? Well, what I would say is I think that industry has in the past been used to doing their job and, and doing the work that they need to do and, and hasn't just spent as much time on that. And now well, they realize, own, it, yeah, they're busy doing way. their job, yeah. right? And so now they're more focused uh, on making sure that uh, people do know what they're doing. Um, with us, with regards to the work we're doing with the oil sands, um, we've certainly had the announcement with the federal government with regards to increasing and doubling the monitoring in the oil sands. So as we ramp up development there, we also have to ramp up the environmental outcomes as well. And so we announced that in February. On Tuesday, I announced with regards to the, uh, the working group now to move from policy recommendations to implementation. And so we've got scientists working with us on that as well. So um, it, we're working hard to make sure that we are, have continuous improvement, that we've taken the recommendations from writers of reports that have suggested that um, we're doing it good in some areas, um, but we need to continue to improve in other areas. And so we're taking those steps. I can tell you the uh, five months that Premier Redford's been in government and that I've been in this ministry, we've taken serious with industry, uh, making sure that we are continually looking for that improvement. We know that uh, the world is watching, Albertans and Canadians are watching, and so we want to make sure that we are a global energy supplier, but we're also balancing that with um, sound environmental outcomes. And in Alberta, we say we can have it both ways. It's a great province, and we can have strong economic development, but strong environmental outcome. When you look at, uh, at, at your portfolio, so you've been in it for a few months, and the regulations are going to be toughened up, We've been, and the overseeing of the industry, were you surprised when you went into it that it wasn't this stringent before or as stringent as it's going to be? Well, what I would say is I spent some time about three years ago in Environment and Water as a parliamentary assistant, and so a lot of the work that the department has been doing and government has been doing has been building to what we're doing now, and now we're taking that work and, and implementing it on the ground. So um, I would say that there's been great work done first uh, um, uh, province and first jurisdiction in North America to actually put a price on carbon to implement that. Uh, we've collected about $260 million out of that fund and had about 27 clean energy projects that come to that. 
$2 billion investment in carbon capture and storage, um, and $2 billion in green trips. So there's lots that Alberta has done and continues to do. Um, it's just getting that message out and the good news stories out. That's always the struggle. And I would say that would be the struggle with industry when we look in the oil sands in particular, the amount of water that they've um, reduced and the amount of recycling that they're using. And sometimes it's hard to get the good news stories out. Right. Well, you know, and if you look at the past of the industry a little bit, I mean, especially uh, when it comes to reclamation, yep. sometimes it seems like and this is always the case when there's good news. People almost seem to throw their shoulder out as they're patting themselves on the back for the bits that they're doing. But there are thousands and thousands of abandoned wells and orphaned wells in our province that nobody seems to be doing anything about. How do you clean up that image? Yeah, so we, industry um, is, um, is uh, by law, has to do the reclamation. They have to do the reclamation on their wells and, and on the oil sands mining, those kinds of things. We do a number of wells every year and ensure that that happens. Um, as you know, the activity over the last 60 years has been immense in the province and, and so in the early days the reclamation wasn't happening and we're working to catch that up and working with landowners as well to make sure it's reclaimed in a fashion that's acceptable as to them. So we've picked that pace up quite a bit. Um, we have an orphan well fund as well that industry puts into it and, and we'll continue to make sure that industry reclaims uh, the land. They, they are responsible by law to do that. We continue to work with them and look, look for continuous improvement. But the other part of that is even on the prevention side, right? So how do we make sure that the footprints are smaller? Mm -hmm. And so when you actually go in to do the reclamation, um, those, those are smaller uh, footprints that they have to reclaim. Right. And so it's the whole piece on new technology, um, new innovation, and making sure that continuous improvement always happens. Now, you haven't been on the job for long, but how do you ensure that the oil companies will adopt new technology, uh, technologies that can make their environmental footprint smaller. Right. How, how do you ensure they do that? Because there's obviously an upfront cost with these sorts of things. Sure. And you know, industry is, is uh, spends a lot of money as well into the R&D research and development. And, and the regulator, the ERCB, ensures too that they, they have to um, clean up the reclamation as well. But I would say that it's important as we have discussions ongoing uh, with industry um, is that they know that they have to do the reclamation. They know that it's the law, so it's in their best interest as uh, holistically. And we look at the COSIA group in the oil sands mm -hmm. who came together of 12 CEOs and, and starting to share technologies and to share that information. I think we're going to see more of that happening because industry knows that um, people want a strong economy. They want the jobs, but they also want uh, the environment taken care of. And that's no different in Alberta or Canada or around the world. Um, there's a louder voice on that, and the expectations are that that will happen. And so industry knows that, and, and they continue to work towards that as well. Okay, last thing for you. We had a gentleman on. He's the Environmental Commissioner for Ontario. Mm -hmm. And uh, he likened Alberta to a hockey game where two sides are playing, but there's no referee. Mm -hmm. So one side is the government, the other side is the oil industry. And he said whenever you've got something like that and nobody overseeing it quite as much as, as a referee would, you're going to have trouble. Do you find it with the new legislation that's come in as far as oversight goes of the industry that this will make a difference on the playing field? Well, you know, we have three regulators in the province of Alberta. So we have environment and water, we have uh, sustainable resource development and the Energy Resources Conservation Board. There are rules that industry needs to work in when they're developing and we continue to work with them um, and, and they continue to develop under those rules. Um, as we look at areas in fracking and other areas that are growing in the province, we know that we'll be putting more um, regulations in place with regards to water use and we work with them. So I think what we have is a good working relationship with industry, but we also um, hold them to account for Albertans and to make sure that they're accountable for good solid development, with sound environmental practices and we'll always do that. So I think it's a good balance. I think there's uh, lots of other groups out there too that uh, challenge us and challenge industry and I think that's healthy to make sure that uh, we are putting the regulations in place that we need to do uh, for environmental protection but that also challenging industry on their own to do better and to have continuous improvement. Okay, Diana, thank you very Excellent. much for your time. Yeah. We've been chatting with the Minister of Environment and Water for Alberta, Diana McQueen.